Hey, what's up guys? We're back with part two of how to set up your Raspberry Pi. In the first part, we installed the Raspbian operating system from the noobs package. And as you can see, we've got the desktop up and running here. And uh, today we're going to finish up our, our install. So first thing is we need to uh, make sure that we are online. So I've already uh, connected to my Wi-Fi network, but if you haven't done that yet, um, follow the old mouse pointer there, moving towards the upper right corner of the screen, just going to click on your Wi-Fi there and click on your access point and enter your information. And after that's done, we are going to need the terminal, which is over here. And we will be typing in a couple of commands. The first one is S-U-D-O. That's sudo. That means super user do. And what that does is it allows us to access things that will make permanent changes to the Pi. Um, if you were to just type in this command, like for instance, the one we're going to use is apt get. So it's a P T hyphen. I have to find my hyphen here. Get. And we're going to do update. Now, if you just typed update without these, uh, I mean, if you typed apt get update without the super user do command, the sudo command, and you did not have um, super user permissions, you would just get an error. Nothing would happen. So anyway, let's do the sudo apt get update. And what this is going to do is check and find out all of the packages that we have that are updatable. So it is doing that now, and you can see it's done a hundred percent. I think it's about done. Okay, it's reading the package list now. So I'll let this roll and I will be back when we're ready for the next step. Okay, so that took about a minute, not very long. So our next step is the upgrade. So we do sudo apt get upgrade. Okay, so it's telling us uh, the following packages will be upgraded. It's going to download um, not very much, about uh, two kilobytes. Do we want to continue? Yes, no, yes. And we'll let that roll. And I'll be back when it's complete. All right, we are back, and uh, that action has completed also. So now we are completely up to date with everything. Now let's take a better look at the desktop. It, kind of opposite to Windows, we have the Raspberry Pi button here in the upper left corner instead of the lower left. You can click here to open up the Applications menu. And if we come down here to Preferences, you see we have Add Remove Software, Appearance Settings, Audio Device Settings, Main Menu Editor, mouse and keyboard settings and Raspberry Pi configuration. So just like Windows, you can go through here and open any of these things up, change your password, your host name, tells it um, where it's going to boot, auto login, wait for network, um, system that we have interfaces, performance, we can overclock if you want localization see everything 
is set in here and you can make all your changes now also from this menu we have a bunch of programming language you see we have uh, Java uh, genie programmer editor greenfoot Java Mathematica node red Python 2 Python 3 scratch scratch 2 sense hat emulator sonic Pi Thony Python Wolfram it also comes with the Libra office which is a lot like Microsoft office and we have an internet browser so we can come over here and get online if we want this is the chromium web browser let's boot that bad boy up here and you know you're, you're gonna find out that um, your little $50 Raspberry Pi setup here is actually a quite capable daily computer so let's close that window out and that is everything for your initial setup so the pie is all nice and set up now I'm going to turn on my desktop light here because I want to show you guys uh, the keyboard and mouse selection that I'm using so this is my combination keyboard and trackpad I'm using with the Raspberry Pi and uh, it's pretty cool it's called a mini keyboard and it is backlit it's available for about 14 bucks from Amazon so you've got a complete QWERTY keyboard here you've got a little mouse pad you've got some function buttons it comes with a built-in rechargeable battery and a place to store your Wi-Fi dongle or yeah, Wi-Fi <laughs> your wireless dongles 2.4 gigahertz um, this will work with anything that'll take 2.4 gigahertz so uh, pretty cool so anyway, guys, that is the end of our how to set up your Raspberry Pi video series. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching, and I want to thank you for all your support, especially your support of the giveaway video, which is now well over a 1,000 views. So July 4th, Independence Day here in the United States, will draw the winner of the Fluke Multimeter. Okay? So if you guys like this, give me a thumbs up, feel free to comment, share, and thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of our community. That's it. I'm out of here. Peace.